Since the refurbishment of um, the C10 Science Lab here at Grammar, um, learning has become, I suppose, a lot more flexible for students uh, in that the teacher has multiple options uh, in how they deliver their, their information and their content. So that could mean moving from a theoretical sense um, you know, the traditional style delivery of information in what we've got now, which is a dry area where students sit at the desks traditionally and, and work, through to a practical sense where there is a, a now designated wet area for students to conduct experiments, uh, inquiries and, and learn through that sense. As a teacher, it allows me the options to, to move from, from one aspect to another within the classroom really seamlessly. Um, in, in asking students how they feel about the lab, the, the response is overwhelmingly positive. They, they like how modern it is, they like that they can move the desks around and, and really engage in the classroom in a way that's important and meaningful for them. The investment into the teaching and learning spaces in this school is, is so important in this day and age. We're, we're really moving away from the traditional lecture style delivery of information in the classroom simply because it's, it's not how students learn. They learn by, by practicing, by engaging, group work discussions and, and really the, the old style of the classrooms, it just doesn't suit that um, and it's not conducive to learning. Investment into the learning spaces at this school will allow there to be options for, for students um, so that they can decide how they wish to learn, whether it's um, in the old traditional style or, or whether they, they choose to be alone and, and working in another area within the classroom on, a, on an inquiry or an investigation task. Or for some students that may be you know, bunching some tables together and, and working together collaboratively. I'm just so passionate and excited about the possibilities that have come from the refurbishment of the C10 laboratory and, and what that holds for the for students in terms of their learning outcomes and, and their, um, their excitement and their passion about this subject and why that can't be spread throughout the whole school, um, you know, so that we, we're really creating lifelong learners at Grammar. It's an exciting prospect.